to another video. So I'm excited to finally be doing this because I got my background situation sorted. I finally got all my bookshelves in order. I started with just this shelf that could not hold all of my books. And then I recently bought this shelf and now things look perfect. So that's super exciting because now I can do these front facing videos more comfortably because I was angled in weird ways before and now I have like whoosh, so much space to just do all of this. Technically, I could still hang up my previous backdrop, which was a quilt I made, but or figure out what the hanging situation is for my apartment. I don't know that I can use thumbtacks. So this is the background we're working with now and I quite like it. So that out of the way, today's video is fun. I'm doing it really quickly because I think that it's, depending on what other resources you look at on YouTube, you may or may not be aware of this product and I personally really like it. So I wanted to make sure that I gave it a video on my channel and I especially wanted to work it into the month of August, even though I very recently talked about how I have too many videos to do in August because it's, they're on sale right now. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about, the teacher tote. So that teacher tote is exactly what it's called. I'm sorry if you can hear things in the background. Someone's making a smoothie. It'll be over soon. But the teacher tote is a company that was created by teachers who were looking to design a bag for teachers. And so they were really conscious of all the different things that a teacher needs in a bag. And I love it. I really, really like it. So I have two now because this one I bought last year when I got my first teaching job and I really wanted to have a nice bag. I didn't want to get a backpack because I wanted to not look quite so much like a student. It was my first year teaching straight out of college. So I knew that I looked young. And even with this bag, I was mistaken for a student multiple times. So to kind of lessen the likelihood of that, I did really want like a professional looking tote bag and this is what I found and I really like it so I got this one last year they run regular price at about $80 so they are not what I would consider cheap I have done even more research on tote bags since then and I did not know that the bag world could get so expensive so when it comes to high quality nice sized bags this one is probably mid-range price even though I consider it quite expensive in the grand scheme of things they get like much much more expensive so you've got to weigh that for yourself but I really wanted to get this video up because in the month of August they have their back to school sale so now the bags are 20% off and I got this one so I forget how many colors they have I think it's about five This is the plum. It's a purple fuchsia kind of color. And this is the black one. They have black and then they also have a charcoal color, which is a slightly grayer toned bag. This is black black. And I got, now I have two. So why, why do I have two? Part one of why I have two is that the zipper on this broke. Now, that is one drawback. I was very disappointed when the zipper broke because it broke maybe three or four months into school and for $80 I did expect the zipper to last longer. That being said, I also overstuffed my bag a lot last year so it was often a really tight fit with the zipper and I, I was yanking it a lot. So there's some amount of like my personal use that lended to the fact that this zipper broke quite easily. So I am giving it another shot this year. That's why I bought the other bag so that I could have a fresh zipper and give it another shot because even though I had that zipper problem last year, this bag has so many features that I love and I haven't found anywhere else for in quite the same way. Like other bags have similar features or they have a few but not all of them and I just really 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 like this one so we're gonna go through it this is the one I'm currently using because I haven't switched over to the new one but I'm going to 
Start by showing you features of the new one so that you can see all the pockets and things and then I'll show you kind of how I use some of the things in the one that I'm currently using. The second reason I got the new one was just to have another color because it was on sale. So I think I got it for $64, I think. And I just, I wanted to have another color. Last year, I didn't know exactly if I was going to like this bag. So I got black because it was just super, like a basic black bag would go with anything, fit any season. It seemed like a nice staple to have. And then this year with the sale, I decided to play around with colors a little bit. And if this bag does well and I, they have another sale next year, I'll probably just kind of collect them because I love them. So first things first, what is it made out of? I don't know. You can find the synthetic material on the website, exactly what it's called, but it's a really nice, like, it's very slick. So if it gets wet, the water kind of slides right off. I haven't had any intense spills, so I don't know what level of spillage it's like good for, but rain, things like that, it just does beautifully. And then these elements here are leather. I believe they're real leather. But if I learn otherwise, I will make a note at the bottom of the screen. But I think that the handles are real leather. That's part of why the cost is so high. And they're very nice. They're very long, which is important because everyone's arms are different sizes. They're different thicknesses, right? So if a lot of bags, if the handle is too short, your arm can easily not fit in there quite right. So I really like this because it's large enough for my arm to fit in there comfortably and also for there to be some space between the top of the bag and my arm. So it's not like right up in the armpit. It's just, it hangs at a comfortable level. But it's also not so far down that me standing at like 5'4", it doesn't hit my hip. It's like right above the hip when I'm walking. And so it's not getting in my way. It doesn't bump against me. I really love how the handle lets it sit at my side. Other features include this little pocket at the front. It's very small and it's like... It's about the size of my hand and I use it for my cell phone. That's almost the only thing that ever goes in here because it's really accessible, but it also is very secure with the zipper. So I really love that pocket for that. It has two pockets for drinks. Look at that. I love it because I carry a water bottle to work and I'm also probably going to start carrying a coffee. And so that's two. I also sometimes just use one of these pockets to slip in pens like really quickly. If I don't want to put them away, I put them there. And it's just a good like quick place to hold things. Like the junk drawer of my bag is this pocket. I usually have my water bottle in this pocket. It comes with a key ring. I don't use this. I kind of want to start, um, but honestly, the way my keys go, Yes, while I'm coming into the building, this is convenient because I can swipe in and I can unlock my classroom. But if I need to carry my keys throughout the day, I have a lanyard. And so the most ideal situation for me to use this is if I can find something that lets me clip my keys and unclip it really easily without having to unwind the key ring every time. And I know those are real, I just have to look for them. But this is there if that is important to you. Then, Another thing I like about this bag is that it is big. Okay, so if you're not looking for a big bag, this is not what you wanna look for. It's not a small bag. I wouldn't even describe it as a medium bag. Like it's a big bag. If you have shoulder problems, back problems, this can easily become unmanageable unless you're really careful with what you put in it. It is meant to hold a lot. I like that because I'm often carrying a lot of things. Now that lend that caused the destruction of my previous bag, so I do want to be more careful. Also, it hurt my shoulder towards the end of the year, but I want to be more careful about what I put in here. But if you really, really need to put a lot of stuff in there, if there's a super busy day and you just cannot help it, this bag does the job. It's really, I just, I love it. Okay, so stretching it out. When the zipper does work, it closes completely, except for like these little teeny tiny corners right there. And like way over there. 
but for the most part it's a pretty tight seal and so you're not going to have to worry about like things getting wet it's not going to get wet you open the bag oh one thing i will note and i see it here now so that's a really weird construction thing that's consistent on both bags the stopping mechanism on the side of the zipper is not very good like it's usually zippers have a solid metal piece that blocks the zipper from sliding all the way off and the problem i had in my previous bag is that that's exactly what happened i pulled this thing and even though it stops itself because of the curve here if you really yank on it you could slide that right off that's what happened to me so you want to be careful with that and i'm probably going to change something about this now that i see this problem it's like the one the one flaw and even with my broken zipper the other bag still works quite well but i wanted a zipper the inside is black even on the purple so they're all black i think it comes with a laptop case in the center with its own zipper so this can be completely completely protected be careful the website says it can hold most 15 inch laptops but i think that's just false because even though the main pocket like the whole rectangle of the laptop compartment could probably fit a 15 inch laptop you have to get it through this zipper first and this zipper is small this zipper is about i think last time i measured it it was like 11 inches across maybe a little smaller so that means that if your laptop is 11 inches or wider in its length dimension it's going to be hard to get it in here my current issue laptop i'll show it to you in a second is like exactly this length and so i can't just slip it in there i have to slip it in at an angle and once it's in there there's a lot of extra space so it makes it seem as though the pocket could fit a bigger laptop but as far as i've been able to tell it can't Right next to that, there's another pocket flap. I use that for random things. Usually papers that I need to grade or most recently my laptop charger just kind of sits in there because it's near my laptop. And then on either side of the laptop section, you have a few things. You have your main pocket, which is deep and wide. I can fit couple textbooks and binders, notebooks, like a lot of things in there. And then on this side, there are a few different features. So there's one large pocket here. In this pocket, I usually put, I'll put my keys in there sometimes. I'll put pens in there sometimes. I will put any small object. My bag is not the most organized, so that's why I'm listing everything you could possibly put in here because at any given time, I might change what I put in here. Then there's a little Velcro, tiny Velcro pocket that goes this deep on my fingers. So like, a light, two or three inches. And I'm starting to use that to hold my name tag. So my school doesn't require that we wear formal school IDs all the time, but we do have name tags that say like what my name is and that I'm a faculty member for formal events and so rather than trying to keep track of when there's a formal event and when there isn't i just keep my name tag in here so that when i need it it's there under that there's another small pocket so this is the pocket we just talked about and this is the other pocket it's the same size but it doesn't have a velcro closure i've never used it i haven't noticed it until recently so it's pretty small then next to that, you have five slots for pens. I don't use them because I throw my pens everywhere, but if you are more tidy, you could use those for pens. That's what they're, they're meant to be used for. My main, like this, this bag has a lot of features I don't utilize to their fullest extent. I love it because it is affordable for the quality like weighing quality versus affordability it's like right in the middle at least for me and i also like the size 
I like the pockets and I love the handles. So that's where I'm coming from with why I love this bag. Even though there are small parts of it, I don't utilize as intended. Then on the other side of your laptop sleeve, you have another very large compartment. On one side, you have a large pocket that could fit anything, probably. I'll probably end up putting an umbrella there, but you could put another bottle if you wanted. Another smaller water bottle could fit in there. Um, that's what I use it for, mostly, is an umbrella, like a small travel umbrella, but fit in there nicely. And then another feature that I really love, there is a space, there's an insulated lunch spot in the bag. I really love it. I worked at a boarding school last year, so I didn't have to bring my own lunch most of the time because I could get lunch on campus without paying for it, or I could just walk the two minutes from my office to my apartment and get lunch there, which I did most of the time. However, now I am working at a school where I need to bring my own lunch or pay for it and I don't want to pay for it. So I brought my lunch in today for the first time and it worked perfectly. Now, that being said, I'm a pretty simple lunch maker. I brought a sandwich and like a granola bar for lunch. So it fit in there with plenty of space. I wouldn't say it is the best, the best insulator. I don't think that any of my stuff would get hurt if I had something with condensation in there, but if you wanted to keep your food cool, you would need an extra ice pack. So I'm in the process of obtaining some. And I've heard other reviews say that it's not big enough. So depending on what your lunch contains, you might run out of space. I don't anticipate that I will, but if you're like a snacker, if you like to have lots of extra snacks and things, then that may or may not be quite a big enough lunchbox compartment. For me, it works though. It holds my sandwich, it holds my granola bar, and if I wanted to bring an extra snack, it would hold that too. I don't put, like I don't keep up with cold drinks. So, like if you wanted to put a soda or something in there, I don't know if that, that would fit with a sandwich, but I don't drink soda. So I would just have my water bottle. And I also don't, <laughs> I also don't drink cold water, so I don't need to keep it cool. So there are a lot of caveats to why I really like this bag. Okay. And I think that I've gotten all the inside features. So I shall zip it up again. If we look over here, the back is really plain. And then that's everything. So I like it. I like it a lot. I find it very durable. I had the bag that I used. I used it every single day, except for when quarantine started in March because I wasn't going into the office. So I didn't need to carry anything. I have found that it cleans very easily with like a wet wipe or a damp paper towel. If anything gets on it, dust, dirt, you can just wipe it off. And it looks honestly almost brand new. And I've had it for a year. I used it solidly for a solid six months very regularly. And then, like I said, quarantine happened. But it's also a big bag that you could use for like weekend trips or anything like that. Take out your teacher stuff put in your vacation stuff. Um, I think I've used it at least once to do that. All right, so this is mine that I'm currently using. I have my phone in here most of the time as previously discussed. Usually I have a, a water bottle in here. If my school gives me a water bottle, like last week for faculty meetings, they gave us a box to lunch and it, they gave us a water bottle with it. So I have my other bottle in there just extra. Also in that pocket, I have miscellaneous goods. So I have two nine volt batteries from a physics lab that I haven't put away. A chapstick and an extra pen. On the inside, I keep my pencil pouch. I don't really Oh, I have in this pocket, I remember, I stashed tea bags because in my previous job, I worked in an office that had a hot kettle, like that was where my desk was stationed, and so I started to take tea from the dining hall. I store it in this pocket. I don't use this pocket except for my ID, which I moved, my name tag.
and I don't use the pencils slots. In the loose sleeve that is between the main compartment and my laptop, I have my charger that I just have rolled up in there and a straight pair of scissors because I was working on a project. This is also an unusual time, right? Classes have not started and we're doing remote starts. So we are, there are far fewer papers that I'm grading. So I'm not carrying as many papers around. All right, but really what I wanna show you is how this laptop situation works out. So basically, if I want to put my laptop in here, I have to insert it diagonally and like twist it in the compartment and then slide it out. So this is my laptop. I'm not gonna flip it around because it has my school. There's a sticker on the front, but this is it. I'll put the dimensions on the screen. It does not fit straight in like this. I tried to do that the first time. I almost scratched it because it's like, it's exactly the perfect size. There's no room over here and there's no room over here. What that means is that the zipper is really close to the edges and if it's not, if I'm not very, very careful, I will scratch the front. And so that's why I don't just slip it in. And also why I see that this is the maximum because if I want to put it in safely, I put it in diagonally. And then once it's low enough in the bag because the compartment is big, it's the zipper that's not big enough. Once it's low enough in there, I just scooch it to the side and it's perfect. If you are moving your laptop a lot in and out of your bag, that might get annoying, but I don't. I put it in there to go to work and I take it out at work. It sits on my desk all day and then I put it away when I'm going home. Over on the big compartment right now, I put my planner in there, but it is at my desk right now. I also have my wallet. Right now in this little compartment, the other side right next to the lunchbox. I just have a stick of deodorant in there because it's hot. It's hot. So if I'm walking around the building and I have not been walking around the building regularly in months, I get really hot. So I just have it there in case I need to freshen up. And then, like I said, the lunchbox I have used for my lunch, sandwich, granola bar side by side they look basically the same the teacher tote does have a few other products they are launching the backpack that they are recently they're updating it they launched it earlier this year they sold out and i think mid-august they're bringing it back with an update haven't used it i don't really want to it doesn't look big enough i think the tote is bigger unless the update changes that and then i think they're also bringing in pencil cases so haven't explored those avenues. Other colors, I know they have black, plum, charcoal, they have mustard, maroon, and olive. So I believe there are six colors right now. I like it, I love it. I'm going to move into the plum bag for this semester at least, and then decide if I wanna go back to black or keep this one. And I will have to update you on the zipper situation probably in one of my random videos i'll mention it as it happens if this zipper holds up or do a follow-up video if this zipper breaks because then you've really got to feel like is the quality good enough like a one-off zipper problem because i was overstuffing my bag is one thing but if the zipper is consistently a problem that's another thing so do be mindful of that but all around i really love this bag i'm going to use it this year and I'll link the information down below. Like I said, it's on sale in the month of August. So if you are a little uncertain, but you do kind of like the idea, I think August is a really good time to get it. I'm definitely not going to purchase it at full price again, just because I don't have, can't throw around $80 very easily, but at 64, I do think it's pretty, it's worth it. And so I will be keeping an eye out for future sales and their back to school sale was in August last year as well. So I think that that is something they do pretty regularly. So if now is not the time, you could check it out next year, see how their product line evolves. But that's everything. So if you have any questions, if there's anything I didn't talk about in this review that you want to know more information about, leave it down below in the comments and I will try to answer as best as I can. 
Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!